Also, we have some unboxing to do later. Do you see this? Welcome to Sunday. And this week's vlog, we are headed to Home Depot. Probably Home Depot is cheaper on their plywood options. So we're going to go to Home Depot to get a sheet of plywood. I'll see you there. All right, we're going to go. We're going to test out the new truck. Test it out? Awful. Sure. All right, guys, so we need to get a sheet of plywood, shelving pins, lawn bags, and hinges. And I want to look at what the cabinets look like there, just because I'm being over analytical about it. Also, we have some unboxing to do later. So let's get to the hardware store. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's that happy girl that I know with the heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind.
Okay, another long day, but we got all our boards cut, dry fitted. So that is a blessing. I am very glad that I have honed in on what kind of doors that we're going to have. And I think that it will match beautifully with these doors here. And I'm really happy that we got the hinges and the door handle and we got it all cut. So we have the shelves, we have the doors for one side and doors for the other. That makes me happy <laughs> that we got that far. I wish, of course, I could have gotten a little bit farther. I'm always overzealous with my time. <laughs> you know, I always think that I can do more with my time that I actually have. And that's not necessarily the case. <laughs> but this is one step closer to being done. That's all that matters, right? One step closer, one step closer. And if I keep on doing one step closer, then eventually it will get done. I've got a bunch of packages that I want to open with you. So let's head on upstairs and open up some packages. Okay. Ooh. What a day. What a day. All right. So let's, there's, there's not going to be any rhyme or reason of uh, this unboxing. I bought a couple of things to prepare uh, the house for Christmas or the holiday season. And I want to do like a video of all the, all the new Christmas de decor that I got. I'm trying to transition my holiday decor to a little bit more of a neutral palette because that's kind of the direction that I'm trying to move the house to. But as you can tell, I got something from Kirkland's and then we've got our decorated curated box. I thought we would open this up together as well. And then I got two things from Pottery Barn. Let's just start with the two things from Pottery Barn. Um, so one of the things, uh, like I talked about last vlog yesterday is I'm trying to go, I want to transition our stockings into white knitted stockings and I want them all to be mismatched and I'm finding it kind of hard to find knitted white stockings. You would think that that wouldn't be so hard to find, but I have been having some difficulties. Some of the stores that I thought would have them, they don't, and some stores do. Um, like Kirkland's, I thought Kirkland's would have a white knitted stocking. They don't have a white knitted stocking this year. Uh, I found two at Target, and I'll show you those in an upcoming video. But then I also found one at Pottery Barn. And then there's another one at Crate and Barrel, I think. CB or CB2 or West, West Elm. I want to get that. But it's like $44. And that was a little bit too expensive for my blood for, you know, one stocking. I might I might go back and get that here in the next paycheck or two, but for right now, Oliver wants to say hi. Let's move him. Um, but for right now, I'm just picking them up here and there. And here it is. This happens to be their Colossal Knit Stocking in medium ivory and if i remember i'll put the price up on the screen somewhere so this is a lot bigger than what i thought it was going to be it is nice it's substantial it is definitely well made it has an inner lining to it here's my arm it's about the length of my arm and it has a really great knit pattern and the yarn is 
it's a little bit different than what I would normally would think a yarn would be. I it's nice here. You see it? It's a little there you go. It's a knitted yarn. It's a knitted knitted yarn. Anyway, this is what this one looks like. So, so far in my stash, I have that I showed you is one, but I think I have three so far. Next, let's do the other Pottery Barn box. <laughs> and next up, I Joe and I recently came back from South Dakota. Uh, we had a family reunion up there, and it was it was fun to be able to be with the family. So, family, if you're watching it, love you, miss you. And I thought, what better way than to get a pillow for Christmas or holiday? Again, I'm transitioning my home from the fall into holidays, winter time. What better way to do that than put a pillow on this couch here? But this reminds me of South Dakota. It has the mountains in the back and the, the trees from Black Hills. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little pricey. If it did not remind me of our trip that we just went to, I probably would not have purchased it. Although, the embroidery is very nice. I like the brown woven texture of the pillowcase. And I like the black, the brown and black. So let me try to get this closer up to you so you can see. Can you see the nice stitching? There's no loose threads. I don't see any holes. It has a nice zipper. It is an invisible zipper, which is very nice. And washing instructions. Wash, yeah, you can wash it in the wash machine. And it says it is a linen cotton blend. So that will look nice here on the couch. Let's just pretend for right now. What do you guys think? So my, my, my thought process, my, mood board is kind of warm wintry cabin. So that's how I would like my home to feel this winter. I like to decorate the feelings, how it feels to me. And winter time just makes me feel like I want to be holed up because I do not like the cold. I like to be warm and cozy and cuddling on the couch and some hot chocolate like I have right here. So Pottery Barn, down, boxes, down. And here, this is from Kirkland's. Here is another pillow that um, I wanted to put in here. Again, transitioning the winter or the decor in here to more winter time, cabiny, cozy. But here is a squirrel. Funny story about the squirrel. We used to call all the squirrels Larry and Mary. Uh, every squirrel was Larry and Mary. So we would say, oh, Larry's here again, or oh, Mary's coming to visit, but isn't he cute? I thought this would go along with the warm cabin feeling. What do you think? I don't like it. And here's the white stocking. You see the vibe? See the, see the holiday jam that we're gonna go for? I hope so, because I got some really cute wooden um, tree ornaments too to show you in the next vlog. So I hope you like those couple of things. The 
decor box, the curated and timeless decorated box. All right, if this box is anything like the last box, it's going to be a booger to get in. So I'll be back in a second after I open this. All right, just like last time, I'm gonna let you see first. Ready? Let's open it up. Oh, how exciting. Open it up. Again, here is cards. I don't want to open this up yet because it last time it showed me what was in it way before, way before I was ready. So we're going to skip that. And oh, oh. do you see this? Do you see this? What was I just saying about a warm, cozy vibe? Wintry cabin. And I believe, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it is so soft. It is so soft, a knitted, what is this, a scarf? Or just a throw? Just a throw, I'm thinking, but it is so soft. It's shedding just a little bit, but all of these blankets typically do shed, but how gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? That matches everything. That matches the Pottery Barn, that matches our squirrel, and that matches our chunky stocking. So excited. Let's see what else is in here. I see a snowflake, a wooden snowflake. Okay. I like wooden stuff. So I, I do kind of like this. It's very Scandinavian. The natural wood tone. I really like this because that is really totally something that I would have picked up in, you know, the store. You can hang it up, but literally you, you can use it as a trivet. I have that big candle over there. I might put the seven wick candle that we just got at Home Goods. I might put that on there. Might hang it up. I don't know. Let's Let's unearth more of this box and see what else do we got. But I'm liking this. I'm really liking it. All right, let's see what's in the box. A box and a box and a box. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Wrapped uh, a Christmas present into a box and then you put it in another box and put it in another box. Let's say like their Christmas present was probably more expensive and you have a set amount that you spend on all everybody and that one person only got that one present because, you know, it was more expensive than the other ones. So you would just sit there and you would wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and then... We have a tradition in our family that we pile all the presents around each other that we've gotten and then we'll go round robin because if you just all open it up, you don't get to see what everybody else got and don't get to like experience their, their you know, excitement and pleasure and stuff like that. And so what we do is we all pick spots in this room. We'll pick spots and then we'll open a present up at a time. And that happens to be one of my favorite things of the holiday. It's not, you know, the shopping. It's not the wrapping. It's, it's being, it's sitting all in here and just being with each other and, you know, opening up present and just laughing and giggling and we take a break and all kinds of stuff. So I just pulled this out. This is what it looks like. It looks like a basket of some sort, but I want to open this up first. And let's see what it is. My guess is a table runner. Yep, it is. It's a table runner. Oh, 
matches the gray and white. This will, this is, this is cute. This is something I would buy myself. We'll go through, is it worth it here in just a second, okay? Or my, my thoughts so far, since this is our second box. But this is not a bad, not a bad product. So I'm gonna throw it over here with our, we have our aesthetic vibe going over there. And some greenery. Oh, and haha, -ha, it's got that real touch. Remember last vlog I was saying that um, I'm looking for the real touch and we found that garland at Target, the um, Hearth and Hand or the Magnolia brand, basically Target's man Magnolia brand. It has the real touch too. And that is really nice. What do you guys think? I think it, I think, I think it's good. Let's put this right here. And then let's pull out this basket that it's very, it's packaged really nicely. And it looks like a hanging basket that you put on your wall. My guess is, I'm going to get rid of the poison here. Um, my guess is, this you would have to beef up the basket in order for this to sit in here but that would be cute leather handle neutral natural ro woven wicker basket and it has a little note on here it says handmade this piece is handmade from natural wood and woven by skilled artisans So I, I will say out of the two boxes that we got so far, the fall box and the winter box, I like the winter box far better, a thousand times better than what we got from our fall box. Yes, I like the tear tray and yes, I like the, the three candles, that alternating candle. I mean... Yes, I like that, That's, but it's not kind of stuff that I would normally buy. And I think that's what these boxes are are all about. You know, it's something that you normally wouldn't buy yourself. But I would buy this. I would, Well, in fact, we did, right? We bought one from Kirkland's, just like it. So, of course, I like this. And then I like these. My thought, though, is if they wanted it to go in here, then it probably should have been a little bit more substantial because I don't think that this is really going to, you know, um, it's really not going to fit. I mean, yeah, we can, like, put some stuff in the bottom of it so it can, like, poke out like that. I wouldn't normally get a table runner, but this would look really cute if you had like a buffet going this holiday season and you just wanted some neutral uh, decor. I wouldn't buy it, but I'm not angry that I got it. Does that make sense? So we'll see what we can do with this too as well, but I'm really in love with this for some reason. Probably because it's wood. <laughs> I, I think I got a wood problem and I really like this. So I 1000% love this box far better than I liked the fall, ba fall box. Um, I'm still on the fence of whether or not it's worth the price tag. So I got what a four season, a four box. Uh, annual box for uh, $2.99. So far, I mean, I'm very pleased with the winter box. The fall box, I wasn't 100% eh, you know, on board with that box. I hope you have been enjoying these small little vlog type videos. The weekends tend to be 
super jam packed. I still had that cold and for the holiday sale, we did sell a couple of things. I haven't added everything up yet because I haven't gotten the inventory list yet for today. The booth closes or the antique mall closes at six. Is it six or seven? I'm not sure. But they haven't sent out the tally yet. So I can't tell you exactly how well we did for this holiday sale. But um, I'll update you guys in a future future video. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. I, I can't say that enough. I really enjoy making these and I enjoy chatting with you guys. So you can D DM me in Instagram. You can you know, comment down below in the comments. And I love chatting with you guys. If you guys have any suggestions or if you have any questions, we have so many projects in the work. Uh, we are going to do another quick little vlog for doing the entryway makeover before we start decorating for Christmas. So we've got a ton of things that we need to do. Plus Gracie's room, um, she moved out. If you saw a couple of videos ago, she did move out and she is doing well in her new apartment with her friends, but I'm, I'm still sad. Max, you know, all our attention turns to Max now, so I'm not sure if he's liking it all that great, but we are having fun. We ordered HelloFresh. I didn't know if you, you know, happened to see that part of the video today, but uh, we are going to try out HelloFresh since it's just, you know, Joe, Max, and I. There's just three of us, and I eat more vegetarian type foods, and the boys, they eat meat and potatoes, so we're going to try out a couple of food subscriptions and see which ones we like, just so I can pass it on to you about information too, because you always see HelloFresh. Um, I'm also doing Blue Apron too, and you don't really hear too much about Blue Apron. That's more of an organic base um, company. They're on, a little bit on the pricier side, so we'll ex I'll explain more about them later. But, yeah, those are coming up videos for you guys. And I'm going to try to get them out quicker to you, kind of more real time. Instead of trying to do more, you know, longer type videos. Um, of course, we're going to have longer type videos, but I think these are more real life. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think they are. I think they're more real life. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are enjoying your ramping up to the holidays, the Thanksgiving and the Christmas, uh, Christmas and New Year's. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.